Hi guys, it's Huff. I am back again. This is going to be a very, very long overdue <laughs> empties video um, of stuff that is not in any kind of project or anything. I haven't actually written most of this stuff down. I haven't worked out how much I've spent or anything like that. I'll be end up doing that at the end of the year. Um, so I will actually be writing them down as I go through them. So just just letting you know. Um, I'm pretty sure this is most of it. I may have missed some things. It happens. So the first one is this um, Lacura nail polish remover stuff. I actually, um, I use this container for ages because it's one of those like pumpy uppy ones. Um, and I quite liked the container because it's a bit bigger than the one I normally use, basically. Um, only thing is, it, I did notice that the end of it, it would focus, uh, broke off and so it wasn't picking up the product properly which I didn't pay that much for it so um, it was just basically annoying. So I went back to my old container. So I have another container that's got like a pink thing around here. See this one's my acetone one. Um, the pink thing around it is um, non-acetone nail polish remover which is what I used to take of nail polish. Um, yeah so I'd been refilling that one for probably six months. <laughs> Uh, next we have some Garnier Clean Soothing Makeup Removing Towelettes. Uh, they were fine. I think I got these. I might have got these in a subscription box. Because um, they're not usually the ones that I buy. Um, I'm sure they were fine. They're just makeup wipes. Really. They may have been one of the ones that my daughter used up for me. Because uh, <laughs> she started wearing makeup and sometimes she just uh, she goes through them. Then we have these Neutrogena makeup removers. Uh, these are the night calming ones. Again, they were fine. Most of the time I prefer... Um, the Swisper ones, mainly because of the container, and um, yeah, or ones that are cheaper that have the same container, because I don't tend, I use them at night um, to take off the majority of my face makeup before I go and have a shower and actually cleanse my face properly, um, or if I'm being lazy, um, or to clean swatches off my hands, so, um, I have this Nature's Essence Fusion Color Lock shampoo for color treated hair. This is actually uh, the Audi version of Garnier Fructis. It's fine. <laughs> it actually makes my hair feel quite nice, um, especially when I use it with the conditioner. I've actually re-bought this since, um, but as usual I go through shampoo faster than I go through conditioner. Uh, sorry, I go through conditioner faster than I go through shampoo. Um, I think I'd already got rid of the conditioner. I don't know. Um, I've had several things come out of my bath shower recently. Um, yeah, so I wasn't necessarily sticking to the same brands together. Um, another shampoo, this is the Tresemme Color Revitalize. Well, it was, and then at one point I had a whole bunch of bottles of shampoo that had like this much left in the bottom of them, so I put them all in together. So it became something else, but um, yeah, it was fine. I quite like Tresemme. It cleans, which is, you know, what you want it to do. Uh, and I have this thing from Inner Face, which is the Shy Blossom Soothing Serum. I actually had this for ages, um, and yeah, I think it had got past its prime. This is actually um, a Korean thing, even though it has New Zealand herbalist stuff in it. It actually is made in Korea. 
Um, I think I got this in a Mimi box ages ago. Mimi box doesn't ship to Australia anymore, so that tells you how long I've had it for. But it is an amazing product. Um, my daughter used to get really bad like eczema on her face when she went swimming from a chlorine, and I could put this on and it would soothe the the sensation. It's funny, it kind of burns first and then it soothes it. And Mum had um, really itchy face there for a while and this actually helped her a bit with the itchiness of her face. So yeah, it, um, it obviously does work, um, but it did take me quite a while to use up and it was probably out of date, not that it's got a thingy on it, but um, yeah. If I could get hold of it again, I would consider buying it, if I could get hold of it easily. Then we have, which has all rubbed off of it, this was a makeup mist, supposedly a makeup setting mist. Um, this came from Kmart. It was probably only a couple of dollars. It was, it says Love Makeup Mist. Um, I have to look at it from an angle. <laughs> Uh, basically, this is glorified water. Uh, pretty sure it did nothing to help my makeup. Then we have from Rexona the Clinical Protection Underarm Deodorant. This is one of my preferred ones. This or the uh, hmm, Mitchum Clinical, uh, the two that I tend to go for, because it's not. It's not like a solid, which I don't mind, but it's also not really, really wet. And I find that ones that are really, really wet make me itch underneath my armpits. And I do not like, um, but yeah, I quite like this. These are expensive, so I try to buy them on sale. Um, but yeah, that's, <laughs> it's my preferred. I need the clinical strength, partly because I don't shave my armpits, so I smell a bit more. It is what it is. Then we have the Maybelline uh, Clean Express, Total Clean Express Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. This is one of those bi-phase ones you're going to like shake up. Uh, it was actually pretty good, I have to admit. I was actually pretty impressed. I was a bit, yeah, this isn't going to work. But it is more effective than my micellar water for taking off eye makeup. I'm currently testing out a couple of different ones, like a simple one and can't remember what the other one is. Um, yeah, because I never really thought of using one until more recently. Looks like there's a little bit in there, but I can't get it out. Um, but yeah, it was fine. <laughs> then we have this is the Bardu nail non acetone nail polish remover. I buy this like in one litre quantities from my uh, nail supply site uh, which is uh, National Salon Supplies which is based in Adelaide which is near where I live. Um, it's basically just cheaper <laughs> to buy it like this. This is like $11 or something like that. Um, but I use so much nail polish remover that there's no point in buying like small ones because I'd be buying them every single week. So I basically I buy this and then I put it into my non-acetone one like this and just use it like that. Um, I have another one up on the shelf which is just over halfway done. I need to buy some more. Um, yeah, it does what it needs to do. Those are like a dollar ninety nine. Swiss are like four bucks or something for the same number. So I swatched all there, and they're basically exactly the same. 
and then I have one packet of the Lacura Petty Spa Square Cotton uh, Pads. These again are fine, they basically, I think I'm using, yeah I'm almost out of another packet, they look like this. They're not particularly strong or anything, but you know, they do, they do the job. And then I have this other one which came from a bulk buy that I did, these are the DT Daily Touch Cotton Squares. So basically, these are exactly the same, there's 120 in there, there's 80 in there. But they're the same thing. And then finally, we have the thing that I'm most sad about. And that is this nail polish. This is the Ultra 3 Tahitian Lime nail polish, which is really, really bright green. It is gorgeous. I love this thing. It broke, it dried, I don't know what happened, whether somebody left the lid off or something, but it ended up all dried up and yeah, I'm not happy about this at all. So I've got to keep my eye open to see if I can replace this one. So that is it for this particular video. This is an empties video. Um, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there, or if I remember to put the end card in the floaty icon thing, and there's a couple of videos you might want to watch. Leave me a thumbs up if you like empties videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!